So welcome to our video on polygons. So I keep saying that polygons sound more complicated uh, than they actually are, and that's true. So I'll explain now what a polygon is and why they aren't so complicated. So a polygon is any shape. So I'll say a shape, and that, that shape has to be made out of straight lines, okay? So if I say shape, I'm gonna say straight lines, right? So any shape, no matter how many lines it has, uh, is technically a polygon, and we're gonna be talking about regular polygons. So a regular polygon, means all the lines are the same size. So the lines, same size, so that'll do, okay? So that means each side of the shape is the same. So we already know loads of polygons, we just don't know that we know them. Yeah, that sounds more complicated than it is. But for example, a triangle is a three-sided polygon because it's all, if they're all the same size. Then for example, if we wanna say the square here, that's gonna be a four-sided polygon. This pentagon here, so a pentagon is five sides again this isn't a perfect drawing but it's just so you can uh, get the idea five sides uh, five-sided pentagon or five-sided polygon is a pentagon then a hexagon so we're gonna have that's a hexagon that has six sides a heptagon is a little bit harder to draw so there's the heptagon and the octagon they're a little bit hard to draw so I just scribbled them out there um, yeah so they're all polygons they all have the same uh, each side is the same length, so they're regular polygons, and this is what we're going to talk about. So, what do we need to know about regular polygons? We know how to solve. We want to know how to solve things with them. Okay, so I'll just say um, solve, and generally this is going to mean finding the angles. So, if we find angles, it'll help us find loads of other things. So, I'm going to say finding the angles, and the method we're going to do to uh, to solve these is we're going to break them up. So, I'm going to say break up into triangles okay so triangles are going to help us and um, to do most of these things break up into triangles because we know loads about triangles and the angles of triangles and so on so the example i'm going to start with is with the pentagon so i'll write one out here so this is going to be our pentagon this will do okay so pentagon is five shape or five sides uh, and how are we going to break this up into triangles kind of put a dot in the middle i'm going to go one triangle two triangle, three triangle, four and five triangles, okay? So each of these triangles should be identical. Obviously my drawing isn't perfect. And each of the triangles are also isosceles, okay? So they're isosceles triangles. That means that they have two sides that are the same. They're two legs of the same. The next thing we're gonna do then is in the light blue here, we're gonna draw a little circle in here. And we know how many angles or how many degrees are in a circle. So a circle has 300 and 60 degrees yeah and there are five separate triangles there and each of these triangles is the same so each of these angles here the five ones there around the circle they're all going to be even so if we're going to find out what the angle is on the top of each of these we're going to divide 360 by five all right so if you divide 360 by five you're going to find out that 72 is the angle you're looking for or 72 is the uh the answer all right, so 72 degrees. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw each of these, or like one of these triangles out, just as an example. I saw today's triangle there. And we're gonna have 72 degrees in the top here. 72 degrees. And the bottom, I'm just gonna call this angle B, and this angle B as well. So we know that B plus B plus 72 is equal to 180. So we know that they're the same, because it's an isosceles triangle, and we know that all the angles have to add up to 180. Okay, so the, now we're gonna have 2B is equal to 180 minus 72. That means 2B is equal to 108, and that means that B is equal to 54 degrees. So that's the angle that's at the bottom of this triangle here. So that means if we wanna find the angle at any of these bits of the pentagon, which we might wanna do, we know that it's gonna be two of these B here because there's gonna be a little B here and a little B there. So it's a little bit harder to see. So basically this angle here, the interior angle is 108 degrees. All right, so you can do that for any sort of polygon. So I'm gonna do it for a hexagon next and then I'm gonna let you guys try it for a heptagon and an octagon. So here we have our hexagon. Again, it's gonna have six sides and that means we're gonna have six different triangles inside it. So I'm gonna start again by drawing a little circle around there. So again, 360 degrees in that and six different triangles. So if we divide 360 by six, we can find what the angle is in each little triangle there. So that's gonna be just 60 degrees. So I'm gonna draw that little triangle out. This is 60 at the top 
and these two I'm going to call this A this time and A. Again, it's going to be uh, an isosceles triangle always. So it's going to be A plus A plus 60 is equal to 180. So all the angles have to um, add up to be 180. So I'll go, I'll go red, why not? So that's going to be 2A is equal to 180 minus 60. 2A is equal to 120. And it turns out that A is equal to 60 degrees. So it's actually an equilateral triangle. Um, these triangles here okay so you get six perfect equilateral triangles and then again this interior angle then is going to be 60 plus 60 so it's going to be 120 degrees all right so I'm going to leave the video there that's the really that's the important thing you need to know about polygons you can break them up into triangles and um, because they won't give you that hint in an exam you're going to need to remember that yourselves so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you guys two problems you have to try and find so the interior angle so that's the angle that I got um, for the pentagon and the hexagon, so this angle here, for a heptagon, which means one with seven sides, so I'll write that, seven sides, that should be an N, and then also an octagon, so where Conor McGregor fights, so eight sides in that one. So you guys have to find the interior angles but using the same method, your little triangles, okay? So hopefully that video um, was helpful, hopefully you know a little bit more about polygons, and you know what they actually mean there. And the next video, we are going to start talking about circles, arcs, and sectors. So we'll see you then. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the website.